Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. I am very excited to begin our tour of web handling tools with one of the simplest and most useful, a pie tape. A pie tape is a precision handheld tool that measures circumference, though the scale translates that to diameter for you, hence the name pie is a conversion factor. The name Pie Tape is a registered trademark for the iconic brand, though there are undoubtedly other similar tools. One of the most important skills is to be able to seat the tape squarely. Among other things, this requires resisting with a consistent back pull with one hand on one end, while pulling on the vernier section with the other hand. A true Pie Tape has a vernier scale. In the hands of a casual engineer or technician, it can read to better than ten thousandths of an inch in good conditions. However, that same tape in the hands of a skilled tool and die or model maker, the brain surgeons of the mechanics world, can read down to perhaps one thousandths of an inch. Despite the immense utility of this simple tool, you might not find it at your plant when you need it for several reasons. The plant might not have it, or it might belong to someone else and be locked in a cabinet. However, the most common reason, especially for checking roller tram, is that you might not have the right size or length because each tape can only cover a range. Not to worry, you can still do a fine job with any flat tape. Note that the common carpenter's tape with a curved surface will not work. Even if you can't find a flat tape, you can still do some mighty fine web work with something like the metal strapping that you can find in any shipping department. We simply scribe across the two sides instead of reading an actual number. There are two main applications for this handy tool. The first application is to check for in-plane roller misalignment as we learned in the web handling section of Web 101. A word of reminder there, while you can often easily detect misalignment with hand tools, you can almost never correct misalignment with hand tools. The second application is to check for web caliper profile problems by looking at wound roll circumference as we learned in the winding section of Web 101. Also, as we learned there, always check for repeatability to check your technique. While these tools are simple and useful, they get more useful as you get better at using them. Thank you so very much for watching this module and my plant practical video clips. Stay tuned for more must-have web handling tools.